Imagine inviting the world's 16 best evolutionist minds, the elite, the top of the heap, the creme de la creme, together to advance evolutionary theory, but instead they look at each other and say, we don't know how evolution works. <laughs> well, that's basically what happened. Uh, the invitation to the conference read, we are grappling with the increasing feeling that we just don't have the theoretical and analytical tools necessary to make sense of bewildering diversity and complexity of living organisms. Yeah, one of the scientists in attendance said, basically, I don't think anybody knows how evolution works. <laughs> and there are heaps more statements like this that, that many of you will find shocking coming out of evolutionist mouths. Yeah, and there were uh, some very revealing statements. Uh, for example, she writes, the Altenberg 16 recognized that the theory of evolution, which most practicing biologists accept, and which is taught in classrooms today, is inadequate in explaining our existence. A wave of scientists now questions natural selection's role, though fewer will publicly admit it. Evolutionary science is as much about the posturing, salesmanship, stonewalling, and bullying what? <laughs> that goes on as it is about actual scientific theory. Bullying, yeah, I thought even kids <laughs> in the playground were, were aware that that was wrong. Right? Yeah, well, maybe some evolutionary scientists didn't get the memo. <laughs> yeah. Now, a little further on we read, in short, it's a modern day quest for the Holy Grail, but with few knights, at a time that calls for scientific vision, scientific inquiry has been hijacked by an industry of greed with evolution books hyped like snake oil at a carnival. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what was going on at that meeting uh, to warrant comments like this? <laughs> well, well, we'll share some more later, but uh, one of the main concerns can be summarized uh, you know, by this statement alone. Scientists agree that natural selection can occur, but the scientific community also knows that natural selection has little to do with the long-term changes in populations. Okay, now that likely surprises many of you, right? I mean, the book openly acknowledges the inadequacy of explaining evolution via natural selection. In, in other words, genetic mutations and, and recombination plus various forms of selection are not sufficient to explain the diversity of life. And it documents this point with statements from leading evolutionary scientists.